Fairness is one of the main principles society is based upon. Legally, we devise punishments for our mischiefs, while informally, we believe that each one of us should be rewarded and praised as deserved. Obviously, achieving fairness is challenging, but at least for fair allocations, we can use math. If you ever had to share a cake with a sibling or a friend, you know one process for fair allocation. For example, your sister would take the cake, cut it in two equal halves in her eyes, and then you would choose your favorite piece. You are happy you touch an allocation as you got your favorite piece, and your sister is happy because for her, both of these parts are equally worth. <clears throat> this process is called cut and choose, and it is recognized even in Bible. Upon arriving on a new land, Abraham divides the land in two equal halves, and Lot chooses a part to keep. The key property here really for both cake and land is divisibility. We can cut them in any way. And we can use this divis divisibility to go beyond two players and one good. As long as each of these goods is divisible, we can allocate these goods fairly. In fact, in my thesis, we show that there is an auction type procedure for finding fair allocations. We could introduce some prices to goods and some budgets to players. Then by outbidding each other, they will arrive at a fair allocation. And moreover, we can implement such a procedure as a fast algorithm. Well, previously we only mentioned cakes and land, fair division arises everywhere, whether that's water resource management, whether these are obligations in climate agreements or access to broadband network. And the last one especially underlines the importance of fast algorithmic solutions. Once we move from divisible goods to indivisible items, the story changes completely. And we are faced with two challenges. First, in case of indivisible items, fair allocations might not even exist. For example, you cannot fairly allocate one indivisible item to two players. One will remain unhappy in any case. And second, even checking if a fair allocation exists or not is computationally prohibitive. Time taken to check if the fair allocation exists is exponential. And despite these two issues, we do not stop here. And in my thesis, we give an algorithm that always pursues an allocation that it's at least approximately fair. And this algorithm works for any number of players and any number of items. And while this algorithm is theoretically fast, it is very complex. And we will keep looking for a more intuitive one in the future. Thank you.